is the rush warranted? I mean, the rush is warranted in the sense that, number one, you know, the situation, the trade situation between the U.S. and China is very volatile, and two, that Tesla is operating, you know, on sort of very, you know, sort of very narrow band to be successful. Um, you know, as we've been talking about for, you know, basically a year, they're under this uh, production crunch. They're also just scrambling to uh, generate as much revenue and profit as possible. And so, you know, being able to, you know, get these cars into China China before a potential, you know, whatever, 25 percent uh, possible uh, tariff hike, um, you know, is going to be good for them. It also shows just how dependent Tesla is on China. I mean, we saw, uh, you know, a few weeks back, Elon Musk going to China, unveiling this, you know, money field that is going to be the site of a factory. Uh, this is a company that really needs, you know, to do a lot of business in China for it to have, the, you know, the future that uh, its, its CEO wants it to have. I have a chart here in my Bloomberg taking a look actually at Tesla's revenue in China over the last several quarters. We're missing the most recent quarter, but Tesla's revenue per quarter in China, about 6% of global revenue. Do you expect that to significantly increase with this China plant? Uh, yeah, definitely. And Tesla needs it to increase because the, the demand for electric cars right now in the world, it, you know, China is the biggest market by a lot. Now, some of that has to do with uh, subsidies that the Chinese government is is giving to buyers and the fact that there are these really low cost electric cars in China. But but if you want to look at like a market that is really embracing this technology like nobody else, um, that's China. And also, you know, obviously this is a huge market. If Tesla wants to be, you know, a leading global manufacturer, it needs to have um, its Chinese sales sort of grow commensurate with the size of the market. So what tariffs or types of tariffs might Tesla phase once this truce wears off? We, we don't know. And, and part of the reason we don't know is because it would be sort of a, uh, it, it would be like a tit for tat situation where uh, the Chinese government would be responding to the to the Trump administration. So um, you could imagine just to sort of an automobile tariff. I believe that's what was talked about um, last year. There's also this uh, sort of cutout that the Chinese uh, government made for electric car manufacturers in the country, where, where before manufacturers had to have a local partner. Uh, now, the Chinese government is saying it's okay for Tesla to open a factory on its own. Now, you could imagine if, if this trade war intensifies, um, that could change as well, and that would have huge implications for, for Tesla.